Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we have some news to announce. So, officially, the Orphan Dig site has been announced to be released on October 19th. So, that is less than two weeks away right now. So, that is going to be really exciting. Now, October 19th, that is also the day where you can apply bonus XP and prismatic stars on archaeology as well. So, that is going to be a pretty big day for archaeology overall. Now, since we did have a live stream and a news post talking about the Orthon Dig site, I kind of wanted to break that down and show you guys what we know already about the Orthon Dig site. So first off, it is going to be a new dig site located in Anachronia. Um, it is going to add a lot of new things, including some relics um, and some new potions as well, which I'll get into later. Um, but it is going to bridge the gap between level 90 and 120 archaeology. Currently, the last dig site that we can unlock is the Warforge at level 76 archaeology. So it is going to be nice to have a new dig site, which is going to add a lot of content within level 90 to 120. Also, Orthon is going to be set up a little bit differently than the other dig sites. So it is going to be divided into several smaller locations across Anachronia. Um, so that is going to be pretty interesting to see how that works out. And it also says there is going to be a new, quicker way to zip around the island. So we're going to have some better transportation, I guess, to get to these dig sites, which is going to be really nice because it can be difficult traveling around Anachronia through the agility course. Um, now, it does say that there's going to be 10 new excavation spots varying in from levels 90 to 120, of course. This is also going to add 22 new artifacts as well as 5 new materials to the game. Um, and we're also going to get 8 new mysteries. So we're going to get some more mystery to solve and of course there's going to be some rewards following those mysteries. Now we do already know the requirements for this dig site. So as I mentioned level 90 archaeology is going to be required to get started in Orthon. And then also you will want to have Desperate Measures completed, which is the most recent quest. Um, and it just says that it will help you out with some later areas, so it's not necessarily a requirement to start off in the dig site. But I am assuming that it's probably a requirement for one of the mysteries within Orthon. Now, we also did get some news on the relics that are going to be coming into the game. Um, so there is going to be three new relics for this dig site. And we did get the name of two of them. So one is going to be the Flask of Sama. Um, the second one is a Dragonkin Delicacy. And this will allow you to increase your archaeology precision at a price, it says. Um, and we don't have the name of the third relic. So it is going to be really interesting to see exactly how those three relics do perform and how they match up with the other ones. Now, it also does say that somewhere in the ruins, you're going to be able to increase your monolith power cap. That is really important because um, power within the monolith, it is something that a lot of players have found restrictive. You are restricted on a lot of different combinations of relics. So this is going to be really exciting. It's going to open up many new combinations that will help with both PVM and skilling activities. Also, I am curious to see what you guys think some of these relics are going to be. We do have the name for two of them. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think some of these relics might exactly do. Now, it was also announced that there is going to be sort of a community event that is going to come along with this dig site. And you can sort of think of this community event a lot like the pylons in Karadet. So with that, you basically get these uh, pylons and you can turn them into the battery for archaeology XP. But for this community event, it says you are going to be collecting some wreck skeletal fragments. And you're basically going to cash them in at the base camp and then once you have cashed in enough of the wreck skeletal fragments it is basically going to give you an xp buff for 25 percent more xp in the activities listed on screen this is a really major buff 25 percent more xp for big game hunter is pretty insane since it is already really good xp um, also you even have the jajinkos the grenwalls they're all really good hunter xp training methods so 25% bonus XP on those. It is really going to make uh, this basically needed when you're training Hunter or some other skills. It also does mention that it will boost Archaeology as well by 25%. Um, and then also Agility. Now it does show a few other buffs that it will provide that aren't XP related. 
but it will also provide a small boost to the drop rates for Big Game Hunter, Slayer, um, the Codexes for the Agility Course, as well as Archaeology Materials. So right away this does seem extremely powerful and definitely something you will want to have completed once this dig site is released. It has also been mentioned that there's going to be some new potion recipes as well that you will be able to collect throughout Orthon, probably from some rewards from the mysteries or whatnot. Um, but some of the uh, potion recipes that we know for sure are the Holy Agro Overload. That's basically just an overload with a Prayer Renewal Potion and an Aggression Potion. Um, there's also going to be a Summoning Renewal Potion, an Archaeology Potion, a Power Burst of Opportunity, and a Spirit Attraction Potion. So those are all some pretty interesting potions. Not exactly sure what they all do, um, but I'm sure they will be pretty useful. Um, this is going to be pretty interesting. There might even be a few other potion recipes that uh, aren't listed here that we might get as well. So it will be really interesting not only to see what these potions do, but to see what other potions we get as well. And so lastly, we are going to be getting some skilling offhands as well. Um, this is something that I'm really not sure what they're going to be doing with this. So it will be interesting to see what exactly these skilling offhands do. Um, we do know that they are going to be called the Orthon Furnace Core and the Artificer's Measure. Um, so let's get some guessing on what these skilling offhands are going to be doing. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. And of course, we will know exactly what they do on October 19th once this update is released. And so anyway guys, that is all the news we have for the Orthon Dig site as of right now. It is going to be released on October 19th, so that isn't too far away. We don't have too long to wait, which is really, really nice. Um, and as I mentioned in the video, the only requirements for this dig site is going to be 90 archaeology, and you'll want the Desperate Measures quest done as well. So if you don't already have those completed, make sure you have them done for October 19th so you can hop right in to the Orthon Dig site. Honestly, this update is going to be super fun to try out. It was a bit of a shock seeing that it is going to be released so soon. Um, but we're going to get a bit of that archaeology hype back again. You know, when everyone was jumping into all these dig sites and uncovering the mysteries. And no one really knows what they're doing. So that is going to be really exciting. Just learning with the community um, and figuring out all the mysteries along with the Orthon dig site. Anyway guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video, and again, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this update, as well as some speculation as to what some of the uses of these items are going to be. I'm sure it's going to be really exciting uncovering all of the mysteries with this dig site, and honestly guys, I really can't wait. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you all at Orthon Dig Site on October 19th.